this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Sendbird sample application for Unreal Engine. I'm Casey Kern. I'm a product manager at Sendbird. Let's dive in. So first thing I'm going to do is get my account set up. So I already have the dashboard open here. I have an account. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on a free trial and I've created a sample application here called Dev. So if you don't know how to get to this step, I will refer you to some other videos where we show uh, account creation in detail. I'm going to focus on the actual uh, application setup and, and that process. So if you check the, the links below, you should see a link to the GitHub repository that has the sample application for Unreal Engine. That's what we're going to be uh, using here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open the Epic Games launcher. So again, I'm assuming you already have this uh, installed. And if you do not, then uh, we have some instructions on, on how to get this uh, set up. You need both the, the Epic Games launcher with the Unreal Engine. Uh, the one that I'm using for this demonstration is 4.27.2. Uh, uh, it may be different by the time that you encounter this video. So the uh, the main thing that we're going to be doing here is um, taking the, the source code for our sample application. We're going to open it in the Unreal Engine, and we're going to build it such that it is linked to our Sendbird account. And you can actually see how the how the chat functions work in a, in a functioning app. So let's let's have a look at that. First, I'm going to uh, hit the launch button here. And what this is going to do is uh, it should be opening the the Unreal Editor, and this is where uh, the actual development work um, can take place. So here I'm supposed to select or create a new project. You can see in my recent projects, I also I already have a Sendbird sample. Now let me show you where this is in in Finder. You can probably tell here I'm on a Mac. And just a, a side note, the Unreal Engine is compatible for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, and um, it's uh, we have binaries that are compatible with with all of those, and uh, we'll get into that uh, a little bit later. But just want to uh, set up up front that this is uh, very much intended with cross platform compatibility in mind. So this is the the repo contents of our Sendbird chat sample for for Unreal, and this is what you can get uh, in the in the GitHub repository. So uh, the instructions are here in the in the README file. I'll refer you to, to those. Um, the actual uh, sample project here is is this file right here. So I'm going to I can double click on it or I can you know, browse to it um, from here. the The result is is the same though. Um, it should be opening this Sendbird sample in the Unreal editor. Now the first time, that this loads, there will be a process that will that will take place that will actually um, build some binaries, and uh, you'll have to wait for, for that to take place. Um, it's already happened on on my end. Let me uh, open up um, the actual uh, source code here in in a code editor, so that we can see uh, see what's happening under the hood just a little bit. So so the first thing I, I mentioned, if you're opening this for the first time. It's going to ask to, to build some binaries, and, and this is going to be platform specific. In my case, it, it built these for Mac. It created this new binaries folder, binary slash Mac, and, and created these assets that then are going to be um, key to, to, running, uh, to running the project. Um, we'll, we'll get back into this uh, a little bit later, but for now, let's, let's look at what things are looking like here in our, in our Unreal editor. So. Um, this is opening the Sendbird project, which you can browse things um, in the project right here in our in our content browser. Um, and there's a number of, of elements, and of course you can see that here we, we have our uh, our X, Y, and Z axes, and we're in a in a position where we can be creating things that may go into a, a game. Um, unfortunately, this is not a how to create a game tutorial. This is just how to get um, your the, the Sendbird sample uh, functioning so that you can add chat into your game. So uh, what I'm going to do is, is look here in the Blueprints menu, and we're going to look at the Open Level 
blueprint. Um, so again, without getting into too much detail here, what's happening here is, is these are um, events that then are triggered at certain points during the, the game. Um, in, in this case, we have begin play and end play. And what we're doing is we're attaching triggers and uh, events and, and subroutines that then um, happen in the consequence of, of these, uh, of these red, red triggers here. So what you can see here is our sendbird init is going to happen right when the gameplay begins. And we have a value here, right here, uh, for, the, for the app ID. Now, this is, this is critical because this is what needs to be edited in order to get your game running. So if I, if I go back to my dashboard here, we can see that we have an application ID here. And um, you know, each application that you create gets a unique ID. Uh, and so more about the, what an application ID is and, and how that happens um, is, is available on the, uh, on the Sember documentation. But what I'm, what I'm focused on right here is we wanna get this application ID and we wanna, we wanna make sure that it is um, uh, pasted right here correctly. Okay, so that, that was easy enough. But what I just did here was, was took the sample application and now tied it, tied it to my own account. So uh, I'm going to save this and I'm just gonna hit play. With uh, with that in mind, and this is gonna this is gonna run this uh, the sample even without getting into the the source or anything else like that. So I'm just gonna create a, a user here called user A, okay, and I'm going to to log in. Great, I am successful. So um, here we, we see open friend and and group. This is showing some of the the various types of um, of, of concepts that are uh, available to the Sunbird application which corresponds here to users and open channels and group channels. Uh, in, depending on the, the type of, of setting, if it's, if it's more of a private type uh, chat, a group channel would be the, the way to go. If it's more of a kind of free open space, uh, an open channel would be the, the way to go. But what I'm gonna do here is um, go here to my sample and I'm going to actually create uh, an open channel. So uh, let's say this is, you know, um, my game lobby or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna confirm that. And I, it, just, uh, it just opened this window where I can say, you know, hey guys, and, uh, and see if anyone's, anyone's there. So what you can see uh, what will happen here is if I refresh my, my open channels here, um, what we should see is that uh, this channel that I just created on the sample now appears here. And uh, in order for me to um, actually engage in, in the chat from the dashboard, I need to do something called create a moderator. And, and this is a way um, for uh, a dashboard user to, to both moderate a channel, but also, uh, also uh, participate in it to, to some extent. So I just created a new user here called, called mod. Um, so, so here on the dashboard, I'm, I'm just gonna respond here as if I were maybe on, on the other side of the game. So I, I'm actually in the dashboard right now, but for all the other users, no, I'm just another user uh, playing the game on a different console. So I hit hello right there. And here we have uh, mod entered and mod uh, responded. And here I can say, uh, you know, ready to play. And then we will see that you know, show up right, right here. So if I go to, um, I think the same concept would happen for a, for a group list, I mean, a, a group channel. Um, now I'm gonna say, hey, this is my friend chat. And uh, same deal here. If uh, the, the, the users that are in this chat would be able to, to see it, um, you know, can you see this? And and these elements and these and these components can be uh, brought into your game in any way that you uh, that you see fit. So let me jump back into the the code real quick, um, just to illustrate a few things. Uh, if if you want to get down to the the nuts and bolts of where things are happening, source uh, Sendbird sample 
is uh, is where most of the the sample specific code is, um, and you can you can see here what's happening is these are functions that then are tying the various uh, components in the game to the Sendbird SDK, which then ties into the Sendbird API, which which then plugs into the whole fully managed uh, backend, and um, let's see. Without without getting too uh, too deep into the the weeds here, what we're going to find is um, we have a, a number of of functions here, like create open channel, update open channel, delete open channel. These are basically just the 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 wrapper uh, interfaces that then interface with uh, the SDK, which then interfaces with the API. And and to be clear. What this project is is a set is a sample, which shows how the SDK is implemented. So then you may ask, okay, well, if this is the sample, where is the actual SDK? And I would refer you to um, to plugins here, plugins slash Sendbird, and this uh, this is where the actual SDK is, and um, you can see that there are binaries, and these are the ones that that got built uh, specifically for. Uh, for Mac, um, but you can see that in the in the source and lib folders, we have um, we have resources for each uh, compatible platform, and even in some cases specific to uh, the type of of chip architecture that you're working with. Um, now, it probably goes without saying, the the advantage of Unreal and these types of gaming platforms is that things compile to uh, to machine code, which gives uh, some you know amazing performance um, and and makes the the best use of uh, of the hardware resources and the and the GPU. So you get um, maximum frame frame rate and and minimal lag uh, during gameplay. So you know this uh, this sample has been architected. So that it's compatible with all these platforms, and you know this this uh, sample is is pretty uh, bare bones, but it shows at least the basics of how do we how do we create uh, channels to chat inside of, how do we connect with other users, and then how do we link it to uh, to our own Sendbird account and our dashboard. So I hope this has been been helpful. Um, again, this was just kind of a, a surface level overview, but the key thing is how do we go from downloading the source code of this sample to actually connecting it to your Sendbird account and, and actually uh, engage in a chat uh, inside, of, inside of your game. So uh, thank you for, for tuning in. Um, there will be more resources in the documentation and uh, in, the, in the links attached to this video, uh, we'll provide whatever uh, resources will be further helpful. Thank you.